What's good, YouTube? It's Taco No Safety, and I'm back with another video. We gonna get straight to it. Y'all know I don't come here to play with y'all. Last video, embarrassing. Let's start there. Takato C2, DSC barrels, what we did it on. I asked y'all, should I rock the Staccato C2? Let me show y'all that. Got the bag right here and everything. Clear, clear, safe direction, bang. So the Staccato C2, that's what we did the last video on, on whether or not I should keep it stock like this, or if I should put this comped DSC barrel in it. Can y'all focus? You know what I'm saying? And if you go, if you seen the video, if you didn't, I don't know if you did, but check it out if you didn't. It, it was flat. It was noticeably fat. There was a difference. Now, do you need to make a stock stock Sakato um, C2 even flatter? I mean, I don't really think so, but it's funny. You know what I'm saying? It's cool, but it's something I ain't gotta do. That's why I asked y'all, should I or should I not do it based on the results? of this uh, comp and barrel. Matter of fact, let's look at what I said. I ain't do what I was supposed to do on that one. I feel like it was shooting left. I don't know if that's because of me or what, but that's a good group just left. I put the stop barrel back in there. I don't know, I feel like something's off and something just didn't feel right about it. If I'm not shooting left on this, then I, I ain't never putting that damn barrel back in there. And I'm right here, this is my group at 10 yards. And this was with the, the DS, DSC barrel. Can't say it's me. This is proof that it ain't me. Something off of the barrel with the way it's sitting in there. When I would rack the slide, I was seeing the barrel kind of tilt to the left a little bit. Embarrassing. Now for those of you that don't know, because I didn't know, and, and listen, I don't, y'all hear me, y'all, if y'all, if you, excuse me, if you've been around, you've seen my videos. Now you know, I don't claim to be an expert. I just shared the knowledge that I've gained from the research and practice that I've done with y'all. You feel me? Just an open help, you know, I help you, you help me community. Now in these comments, y'all been helping me. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. One of the, well, a lot of the comments said, bro, if you gonna change your barrel, cop it or port it or do anything to it, you need to re-zero Yo dot. Soon as I read those words, it all made sense. Now I don't know why I didn't think about that when I was out there shooting and the barrel, I said the barrel was shooting left. It was a great group. As you can see, that was a pretty decent group. It was just left. And I said, I'll never use that, put that barrel in again. I owe y'all an apology. I led y'all astray. I didn't know what I was talking about when I was making those statements. I'm man enough to admit it. Boy, this, damn, boy, I'm glistening under this light, boy. It's hot under this light. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, boy. But yeah, man, I was wrong. I was wrong about this barrel. I, I gave y'all misinformation, and I should have re-zeroed the dot. So, with that being said, now that I know that I should have re-zeroed the dot, I got to give y'all a better opinion on how I feel about the barrel. In that case, due to my ignorance, due to my lack of information, and now that I have the information, the barrel is fire. The comp is fire. I love it. I like it now. The group was crazy. The way it sat, we still clear. Still clear. The way, the way this C2 sat down when I was shooting it, and as y'all can see, man, yeah, I do got a high grip, but at, the way that thing was sitting down, man. Mm, mm, mm. Butter. You know what I'm saying? What do what y'all boys be saying? That's butter water is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know, you know, I done, I done bought the C2 to the channel a few times now. 
But I had to correct myself with this barrel. You know what I'm saying? The DSC barrel is a good barrel. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, you can get two different versions of the Staccato. You can get an all black barrel or you can get the stainless steel barrel. You know what I'm saying? The Staccato P, I got a black barrel in it. The C2 got the stainless barrel. I personally like the black barrel. You know what I'm saying? So let me show y'all again how it look with the comp and barrel. And since we know how it shoot, we can talk about the looks. I get right back to y'all because y'all know you two don't let me don't like for people to break down guns and show y'all all that. You know what I'm saying? So let's do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the comp and barrel on with a comp and barrel. See if it'll focus. As y'all can see. Now tell me what y'all think about it. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, do y'all think it look better like this? As far as carrying it go, dang, I don't have my host in here, but as far as carrying it go, it don't really add too much weight to it. And I mean, I don't know about y'all. I've carried cop pistols before. Sometimes when you when you buy a uh, a uh, when you buy a holster that is you know for this length of barrel you know what i'm saying then you add a comp to it the comp is gonna stick out a little further than the barrel because the because i mean then the holster because the holster was fitted for you know without the comp i mean i don't really mind that i got a glock that comp that i uh would carry before but i don't anymore or even at the range when I am carrying in that in the holster, the comp sticks out some. I don't mind that, you know, I know it get hot, but I've never had an issue with it burning me or anything like that. And even after shooting, uh, either shooting and I carry the pendants, I've never had an issue with getting burnt or nothing like that. So, you know, I don't know if that's something you're thinking about, but you know, I figured I'd put it out there. So, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, my, my opinion changed, man. I, I like the barrel. I like the comp. I like the way it looks. As you can see, it's a DSC aftermarket, but those serrations are kind of, these serrations here are kind of cut with the slide right there. You know what I'm saying? The slide cuts in the back with the serration. So I think it, I personally think it look good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a longer light would make it look even better. You know what I'm saying? I like the extension with the comp. I personally like that on, uh, on comp guns. I like the mag extension to match you know what I'm saying the length of the of the of the barrel. That's me personally. You know what I'm saying that's not that ain't everybody, but that's just me. So yeah, man, I really just wanted to address the last video. I felt like I I owe people that. You know what I'm saying I don't want to. My intentions isn't to put out. Man, hold on, y'all. My light went out. Let me get y'all right. Let me get y'all right. Let me get y'all right, man. Yeah. Are we back? Hold on. All right, we. We back. Man, let me get something to wipe my face right quick. So, my intentions isn't to put out the wrong information. You feel what I'm saying? And that day when I said this barrel was trash and I never put it in my gun, that was not the correct information because had I zeroed in this, had I zeroed in this comp and barrel, the group would have been even better than the group that I shot without the comp, which was still a good group. You know, in my mind, it makes it, it make the barrel worth it. You feel what I'm saying? The barrel, the barrel is about, the barrel and comp is about $400. You know what I'm saying? And whether or not you think there's a difference between as far as the shooting recoil wise, stop and with the barrel in the last video, that's up for you to decide. Me personally, I felt like there was a difference in recoil and uh, my ability to track the dot, you know what I'm saying, with uh, with the comp on. The dot pretty much stayed in the window with each shot versus when it ain't comp, I kind of, you know, I do got to wait for the comp to, uh, for the dot to come back into the, the picture, which isn't personally a problem, you feel what I'm saying, because as long as your grip stay consistent and, um, and, and you're not slapping the trigger, your dot, whether your dot tracks up to the left, straight up and down, or up to the right, as long as your grip is consistent, it'll track that way every time. So even if, so even when I personally lose the dot at, uh, in the window sometimes, I know it's gonna track back the same way. So um, it's easy, it's, so it's not as difficult for my follow-up shots, you feel me? 
but it makes it even e even easier where I can shoot more accurate and faster when I don't lose the dot in the window. All right, that's that. So my intentions was not to make this a long video, uh, or I hope y'all still found it interesting, but I wanted to correct myself and address the last video, um, which was the Staccato C2 at the range. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't checked that video out, check it out. If you enjoy the content, you can like or subscribe or comment. Comments are welcome, you know what I'm saying? Cause I do, especially if you're trying to, if you uh, correcting me or teaching me something or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I will read it and apply if it's reasonable and I feel like it's useful, useful for me. You feel me? Um, that's that. Y'all know the vibes, man. It's taco no safety. Stay alert, stay deadly, stay dangerous. And I'm out.